These Google one-click AI agents are absolutely insane. So today I'm going to show you, for example, how to build your own AI agents like you see here. And here you can actually build loads of different free apps inside the Google AI Studio and it's super easy to set up, right? So for example, here we've actually just prompted it with one click and then now we've got this AI voice agent. So let me show you an example of how this works. So let's play this back. Hey, are you working right now? Yeah, I'm what can I or the dinosaurs still exist here's another example so for example inside here we can allow the voice agent to go and then we've got another voice agent here and then if we go back inside google ai studio and then go to apps as you can see we've got a bunch of different apps that we've built right and they're basically like ai agents that we can quickly use and customize to create whatever we want so for example if we look at this thumbnail generator so we can actually switch between the ratio that we want and then describe what we want and it will actually generate a thumbnail for us. So let's say, for example, okay, Google AI agents, and you can upload a file here for inspiration. So let's go to my YouTube channel and grab a thumbnail example. So I'm going to grab this one right here, go back to AI studio, upload a base. We'll take that screenshot like, that and we'll say Google AI agents instead. Now actually refine and edit the original image that we had to create a better thumbnail. So there's so much you can do with this right now. Zoraf says, does the AI profit board show me how to make the AI avatar? Absolutely. So if you want to learn how we create AI avatar videos, like our YouTube channel does, and like we do across every platform pretty much, then you can actually see our full AI avatar process right here inside the AI profit board. So if you go to the step-by-step -step operating procedure in the description, you can get it there. And then you can see we have a full video tutorial on how to do this stuff. So if you go back now, we've got the newly generated version of the thumbnail, super easy to do. We can export that as high quality as well. So it's a bit grainy inside the actual app, but we can export it like you can see. That was really easy to build as you can see, right? So the way that I like to come up with ideas for this is we'll go over to Claude and say, okay, based on what you know about me, give me some ideas for what I can build as a one-click AI agent mini app. So for example, the content repurposing planner, right? User inputs one piece of content, agent outputs a full distribution map, what to post, looks for each platform, optimal formats, etc. right? So grab that. We'll go over to AI Studio. We're going to plug in our idea. And then you can see at the bottom here, we can just plug in whatever we want, right? So we can actually add like add-ons into this. So for example, we could add Gemini intelligence inside there as well, which means that we can basically add AI inside the AI tool that we build. And then also we could, for example, use Google search data if we need to search web too. And so we can build with those two extra pieces of functionality inside AI Studio. And then from here, just wait for it to code out whilst we do other stuff in the background. We've also got, for example, the SEO brief generator. So it pastes the keyword, agent produces a full content brief with search intent analysis, suggested headers, meta gaps, and then one click ready to write. So if we copy that, super simple process. And this is really how you make AI actually practical for your business. A lot of people play with it. Not a lot of people actually implement it. And that's the difference here. So we're going to, again, add Gemini intelligence and Google search. And then we'll hit build and we can go from there. We're also using flash preview to build this to so Gemini three flash preview. The reason that I recommend that is like, it's faster and easier to do. So you can see, for example, whilst I've been talking to you and whilst I built out the other app, we've got the first app ready to go. So if we paste in our content, so let's, for example, take a blog from our website and we'll test this out. And again, like this may not work first time round, so just be aware of that, but let's try this out. Let's go back to AI studio, the content in there, hit generate map. And we'll see what we get back. In the meantime, we have the build hierarchy and content briefs tools to analyze search intent and competitive gaps. So we can just grab a keyword from Google. Let's see what we can focus on here. So put Google AI Opal app, for example, something like that. Close that, hit generate. And that should start building out a high ranking content brief. And these are both AI powered. So you can see it's loading and buffering and using the AI to generate the outputs, which will just wait a second. The other thing I like is just how simplified these apps typically are when you build them. If I bookmark this and come back to it, it's going to be quite easy for anyone on my team to use them. And you can see like the UI is really nice, right? So for example, it's got the name of the tool. We've got the keyword plugged in at the top. Then it's given us a target title. So you can see we've H3 and H4 
tags, which if you don't do SEO, basically that's just breaking down how you structure the page and the titles. It's given us bullet points of what to include in each section, along with a description of the section itself. We've got a nice title at the top, so the target title that's front loaded with the SEO keyword too. And then if we keep scrolling down here, we've got, okay, here's the common themes across our competitors. Here's the opportunities, here's the winning angle. And then it's also giving us an idea of the content range, right? How much to include in the word count, secondary keywords to optimize it semantically, link opportunities as well. And then it's showing us where it's researched this information, right? So where has it got the information for this particular content brief? And again, all we did was just give it one simple prompt, like you can see, and it went off and did the rest. It's incredibly easy to do. It's, it's incredibly lazy to build these apps out, but that's what we like. And then you could always go inside the chat here if you want to make changes. So for example, you could say, okay, once you've generated the content brief, then give me a button that I can click and go off and actually start creating the content itself, right? So let's try that. Let's say, okay, once I've created the brief, give me an option to generate the article itself with AI. And then you can turn that into a full workflow. The same with this. So for example, we have a look here, we've plugged in the prompt into our repurpose AI tool, which is an AI agent where we can repurpose our content and it gives us a full distribution map, right? So you can see, for example, here it's given us the X post based on the original transcript that we pasted here. It's also broken down. Okay. Here's who your primary audience is. And then you can see here, for example, it's actually given us a full like tweet thread idea. But also we've got like a prompt that we could just plug in right there along with uploading the video itself. It's given us some hashtags as well if we wanted to include that. And then on LinkedIn as well, we've got the hook here. We have ideas for natural carousel we can embed. We've got TikTok shorts. So we've actually got the structure of the content we can read out for TikTok, Instagram, a newsletter idea, and basically everything we need to repurpose that content quickly and easily. Now, this is the newly updated content brief generator that should allow us to generate content as well, not just a brief itself. And whilst we're waiting for that, let me show you some other examples of what we can build here, because really the sky is the limit. So we've got like an AI Spanish tutor, SEO voice agent that can answer stuff. The other thing to note here as well is you might be wondering, okay, can you embed this stuff onto your website, right? So once you actually create an app with AI, studio how do you get that on your website for example and so what you want to do is you go inside the deploy app so you're going to deploy this to a cloud project like this if you just want to use it for free then just use it inside the ai studio interface right and then from here we can say okay give me the embeddable code to embed into wordpress right and that'll basically give you the embeddable code that you can copy and paste into wordpress right so for example if we actually log into my website i'll show you an example of what we've built previously wow wordpress is slow but basically you can go into posts here you can take the embeddable code from google ai studio and then you can paste it into an editable version inside your post right you just create a HTML block and you can edit it later. So that's how you can actually embed these tools into your website too. So this is generate the brief and then we can click on write full article. And now that'll actually create the article itself, right? And again, like the UI is super clean. You have the keyword, you got the brief, and then you've got the article being written on another tab. And so you've just automated a full SEO workflow in literally a few minutes using this process. So if we go to your apps as well, let's see what else we got. We can also check out what's been created by others. So for example, we could A-B test real-time code generations. They've also created like some games just to showcase what we can do as well. So if we click on the Gemini runner inside created by others, this is the Gemini runner game, initialize run. And we've created like this 2D runner, as you can see right here. And you can actually remix those as well. But yeah, pretty cool. Like the game itself works. It looks better than some of the games that used to be built on those flash websites. It's quite addictive to be honest with you. And then if you go back here, go to your apps, and then explore the gallery. You can actually switch between all the different generated apps that you can create, but by the API. So for example, Gemini 3 is great for creating like basic apps like I've shown you today. But then for example, if you want something more visual, then you could go to the Nano Banana section at the top and you can see what's been created with that image generator. For example, like an 80s more photo or a fit check or a banana mate, right? Which actually creates animated GIFs with Nano Banana from your images and prompts. So for example, if you check out this one, hit allow, we'll upload an image of me and we'll see if it can turn it into a GIF. So let's take that image, go back to AI studio and we can take a picture of ourselves or we can upload an image. You've also got stuff like 
Gemini visual thinking, visual computer, etc. And this is an interesting one. So you can actually, it's really interesting this. So it says you can use a pen. Is It's got like its own operating system. Let me show you what I mean. So if we explore the gallery here, multimodal, right? It says, use your pen to control a virtual OS, create AR wallpapers, take actions, folders, summarize emails, etc. And then you can see, you can actually control the OS, click play, and then it will just control the operating system that's created. Here's the Banana Mate GIF. This is the article that we created with AI, the SEO generator. So there's just so much you can do with this, pretty much endless. So if you want to get more training on this sort of stuff, check out the AI Success Lab. So if you type in, for example, Google AI Studio, you can see all our latest trainings and building this stuff. So for example, if we go to this one, this is from December, 2025. So it's a brand new training just from last month. It comes with a full video tutorial. And then you can see here, we've actually got like a full step-by-step -step guide written with a 30 day plan and over 100 prompts that you can use to build with this stuff. So if you want to steal all these video notes and all the prompts in the 30 day plan, you can get that inside the AI success lab link in the comments description, or just go to chat GPT and ask for Julian Goldie's AI success lab it connects you with 44,000 AI builders. So people interested in AI, very active community and inside the classroom here, you can get all of our free trainings and courses. Like you can see, and just start building with this stuff. All right. Now, if you want to get a full process for automating your business with AI, feel free to check out the AI profit boardroom. This is an amazing community where basically I show you all my best automations and we've got over 2000 serious AI builders who are posting in there and sharing stuff. And it's really active. So for example, you see Justin here created an, a daily accountability check-in. So we have a daily accountability group and there was like 118 comments on that, right? So everyone's getting involved in this. It's really active as a community. Everyone's creating cool stuff. And you can also share your wins and see how other people are winning inside the win section here, as you can see. And it's just a great place to meet people. The other cool thing you can do here is inside the map, you can meet people in your local area. So for example, let's say you're in this area right here, right? You can go to, for example, Los Angeles and you can see who's in your area that's interested in AI, right? And then you can actually connect with them directly. So for example, here, if we go to this section, you can see, okay, just within this small location, Hillard, John and Mike are all in Los Angeles in this little area. Right. And so we can actually chat with them and connect with them and then say, hey, you want to jump on a Zoom call? You want to meet in person, blah, blah, blah. Right. It's absolutely amazing. So that's the AR Profit Boardroom. Also inside the classroom here, you can see that you can learn how to go from like complete beginner to expert with AI. We'll also show you, for example, our best playbooks for implementing AI into your business. You'll get our best trainings on, for example, how to get more clients for your agency our best AI SEO automations. And if you want to learn how to create AI avatars, just like I do, then feel free to check out the AI profit volume. It has our playbooks on that too. Back in two minutes, peeps, back in a second, all right? 